Hey everyone, I wanted to make a video here of my uh, DIY large format Delta printer. I wanted to make a inexpensive large format Delta printer and what I did basically was I ordered some Hayden carbon fiber uh, Delta rods here. These are carbon fiber magnetic ball end rods. 400 millimeter length. I ordered some uh, extrusions, just standard 2020. These are 1000 millimeters, and then the bottom ones are 400 millimeters. Roughly gives me a build area of about 350 millimeters wide and 480 millimeters tall, so very generous build area. Uh, I believe I built this printer for around $600 Canadian, so very inexpensive uses a uh, MGN 12 linear rails. I designed the uh, ABC mounts uh, myself, just pretty simple uh, mounts here. Has a belt tensioner built into it. Uh, I designed the effector. Essentially it's some um, duet smart effector, uh, like layout. Um, it had all the spacing and everything I need. I just uh, took the basic dimensions of it and made my own. Um, this printer is running a Thetis Dragon Hot End, just a BMG clone, and then I'm running an SKR Mini mainboard with a Raspberry Pi 3 running clipper. And that's probably the best part about this printer is the clipper software. Um, I think it really saved Delta printers. Uh, clipper is such an incredible piece of software for printers in general but it's it's magic for deltas it's so easy to tune a delta with clipper um i've really got back into delta printers because of this um also i'm using a very inexpensive kind of like pezzo uh nozzle probe here for my my leveling and it works awesome um i'm printing a pen holder right now uh not printing super fast on this one just doing a slow um, kind of print here because of the overhangs. But um, honestly, you can't beat this printer for the price. If you want any more information on this, please comment below. I can give you some tips on assembling this. It's such a simple build. There's such little components. If you compare this to Cartesian or Core XY printers, um, this is a 350 millimeter uh, glass plate. This printer is not heated bad right now. I plan on building a second one that will have a heated bed. I'm going to be actually moving all the electronics from the bottom up to the top here. And then I'm going to have a heated bed. This whole printer is running off of a 3 amp 24 volt AC adapter. Um, very, very inexpensive. Prints PLA perfectly. Again, if you have any questions, please comment below. Thanks.